Well, I believe that is the reason. That's why they're hated. That's also why Israel has won all of its wars and will continue to be victorious despite the massive numbers pitted against it. Like Samson was only one and yet victorious against thousands. Oh, you can say Israel had help from the great Satan. All you want, Abdullah. But guess what? Allah couldn't stop the great Satan from miraculously humiliating Israel's Islamic enemies because the real the true God, the, re the one who is not satanic, provided the great, great Satan for Israel, so it would be victorious to the point where all of those huge numbers of Islamic enemies that surrounded Israel would be defeated. And because of this incredible humiliation of its enemies, and they were humiliated, Abdullah, they, the Muslims, are now planning Israel's destruction just like Psalms 83 predicted. Read Psalm 83 and see for yourself how that prophecy has been fulfilled, Abdullah. It has already been fulfilled and continues to be fulfilled. But guess what, Abdullah? God will protect Israel to the bitter end. God didn't choose Israel because they were good and godly or holy. No way. God chose Israel as a symbol to represent all of humankind in the future. God came to die for that which was lost. Abdullah, he came to die for you and me, for everyone else. And since Israel represents all of us in the future, well, is it any wonder why Satan and his followers hate Israel so much? That's why the Jews are chosen. That's why they're hated. They represent those who come to Jesus Christ and accept his work on the cross. Not of their goodness, but because of God's mercy on Bastards, And everyone is a bastard, Abdullah, until God changes their heart and adopts them into his family, which is, which you will be a part of someday, I'm certain of it. And right now, they, the Jews of Israel, are the canary in the mind shaft, representing the world in its future struggle with Islam. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, okay, well, well, go ahead. Go ahead, car. Okay. I carve my head off. I too believe. I too believe that I'll be warded in the afterlife. I might not get 72 virgins, but I bet I'll be with the one true God of the universe who died on the cross for my sins as well as yours. I believe that.